Welcome to The Terrible Take, mini podcast telling Steelers Nation what's on our mind. I'm Alex Kazora. Gadget players, that's all the rage of the Steelers draft season chatter. It's the football equivalent of NFT. Everyone wants one. And Matt Canada's promotion to offensive coordinator has heightened that desire all the more. A college guy like him could do wonders with a versatile, fun chess piece in the Steelers offense, a space runner or receiver. I've had some fans suggest to me that kind of player is on the roster already in sophomore running back Anthony McFarland. There's no question he's a different flavor of runner than anyone else in that running back room. His speed is legitimate, and I'm not giving up on him after a lackluster, quiet rookie season. There's plenty of reasons to explain his struggles, most notably the fact he was a redshirt sophomore coming out of college and is still growing physically and mentally. It's not a surprise to know he struggled more than upperclassmen like Chase Claypool, Alex I. Smith, and Kevin Dodson. McFarland can still have success, especially now that his OC is the guy who coached him at Maryland. But here's the thing. I wouldn't call McFarland a gadget player. Sure, he's fast, explosive, and can hit the home run. But he's not the space player I think of when gadget players come to mind. McFarland's actually a pretty defined runner. In college, in his rookie season in Pittsburgh, he wasn't split out much, wasn't used in the passing game. I think his hands are decent, but he's not, say, at Memphis's Kenny Gainwell or Purdue's Rondell Moore in terms of formational flexibility. Those are the type of gadget players I think of. Don't confuse fast running backs with gadget running backs. That skill set isn't one-to-one. Willie Parker, he was fast, but he wasn't a gadget guy. Same with McFarland. That's not me dissing McFarland's game at all. I warmed up to the pick the more that I watched him play, but his presence shouldn't necessarily check that gadget box on the roster. Drafting someone with that skill set should still be on the table. Put it this way, speed backs versus gadget players are like the difference between hot and spicy. On the surface, they sound similar, but there's key differences. If someone eats something that's hot and you give them water, it'll cool them down. If someone eats something that's spicy and you give them water, it only makes things worse. You need milk to combat spice. Different solutions for different flavors. McFarland can have a role as a number two running back splitting time with Benny Snell behind some presumably you know top rookie in 2021. But if I want a dynamic space player to throw screens and get involved in the RPO game, I'm not afraid to do that in this draft. There should be plenty of options for Pittsburgh to choose from. Be sure to follow us at SteelersDepot.com and check out episodes of The Terrible Take every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And check out The Terrible Podcast with myself and Dave Bryan every Tuesday and Friday.